Okay guys, in this video tutorial I'm gonna show you how to import image and apply filters on it in Storyboard Pro. So let's start by creating a new project and choosing a name for it. Okay, after that by selecting a new shot button uh, you can add a new scene. Uh, so for now let's leave them blank and uh, you can import photo after that, if we select on the photo, uh, we have draw option here. So we can we are able to draw on the photo. By choosing the pen, uh, you can select any color. And then you can uh, draw on the stage. And as you see, we can add any detail on the photos. Also, we can choose another color and try to add more details by choosing the undo button we are able to uh, undo the chains also if we choose any object here we are able to move or delete them as you see okay and in the history menu we have access to all actions that already uh, made so don't be worried everything is saved in the filter menu uh, we have access to lots of nice effects so we can just apply them with a single click as you see the photo is blurred so everything is uh, rendered in real time so uh, just give it a try and apply these filters on images you can apply brightness and uh, or noise and after that you can remove the white from the photo and with the pixelate effect you can add some pixelate effect on the photo which is really nice uh, with the tint menu you can add some tinted colors on the stage or there are some others option that you can give them a try from the resize menu we can resize uh, the photo but if you pay attention uh, we need to resize the photo right before we add any details so remember to just resize the photo and then add the details okay let's cancel it for now uh, from the crop menu we can crop the photo in pre-made sizes or custom sizes so with the undo button we can just get back to his story and uh, discard chains and with the custom crop we can add custom crops and we can hit apply button to be applied okay great and let's choose undo for now uh, by choosing zoom in button you can see uh, some more details and add details in a little uh, textures so as you see we can add uh, some lines here and we can just zoom more and some more detailed textures so for now let's undo this and select another color and as you see we are adding some more details okay great let's zoom back to the defaults also in the icon menu there are some pre-made icons that you can use them and simply draw them on the stage you can move them or change them the color and also rotate them okay we can move them to any part of the stage uh, also you are able to add custom icons from this menu and add your custom icon uh, as I said we can just select any object and remove them in an easy way so let's uh, uh, resize this arrow okay 
From the text menu, you can add text and then type your text. And next, you can change the text size or you can make it bold or change the color. Uh, the add text is really useful for you to uh, just uh, add some description on the photo. And if we say, hit the save button, you can see the photo has been saved on the shot. And there are two types of applies here. As you see, there are upload scenes and upload photos. I need just photos here. And as you see, uh, all images are already uh, imported. Okay, and all details are here. If you click on the photo, you can choose the remove image and the photo or we can just import any other photo too and you see the result.